Something happened with my save file and I had to kind of play a lot. Since I hadn't recorded this, recorded this since, uh, January, I forgot a lot of things. But we just did the spot the differences and whatnot, so let's talk to Jin Jin. Congratulations, I have never seen anyone so light on their feet before. Uh, uh, Wanna play again? Why would I do that? Oh, are you truly all done playing? Uh, of course I'm done. Now where's my reward? Huh? Reward? Did I hear what I think I heard? You're not full of stuffing. You're stuffed full of crap, kitty imp! Oh no, that's mean. Oh, you mean that reward, sorry. Here we go. Russell, 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 Russell. Now what do I have here? Uh, not this. Not this one either. What else is there? Why am I starting to have a bad feeling about this? Ah, I found it! Yes! What? It's a scandalous photo of farewell. <laughs> is he hot? Is he not just the cutest thing? Here, he's all yours. Obtained farewell scandalous photo. Magentus definitely suits him. I didn't know Mr. Manager was into this kind of stuff. Ah, <sighs> anyway, now we can go on to the next room. Huh? Uh, I understand. Thanks for playing with me. No, no problem. Bye now. Alright. Coolio. Man, oh man, what a day. So what's gonna be the deal with the next room? Ah, knock, knock, knock. Please come in. Huh? I know that voice. <laughs> Is it the cat again? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if it's the cat again. <laughs> Welcome! Oh, it's you again. Huh? Are oh, you not happy to see me again? Oh, yeah. Uh, no duck, kitty imp. Oh, I'm totally, utterly, completely, thoroughly, and entirely, unbelievably not happy seeing your face again. No need to be so awkward about it. So tell me, why, out of everyone in this complex, are you in this room? Are you stalking me? The best kind of stalker. Do not look at me like that. I was only kidding, mind you. I was asked to watch over this room. Speaking of which, this room looks awfully like a shop. Correct. It is an establishment. Therefore, that means... Ah, hot, 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 hot again. Alice. Hey, isn't this... The proprietor of this room is Alice. I would like for you to run her shop. Display what you may think. I am not a jack-of-all-trades kind of gal. I'm a cleaner. Well, how about you clean out the shop with the cleaner and sale? <laughs> I think that sounded about right with you. Yeah, with that, good luck. <laughs> well, I have nothing better to do. So I think I'll take a quick trip back to the world of the demons to go do some playing. Oh, no, you don't. You stop right there. Oh, he's gone. Impulsive little cat. Huh. Alright, well, this is shop now open. Sell, sell, sell. Alright, let's sell some things to some probably really weird people, yep. Uh, pocket watch, you need pocket watch. Give me one pocket watch right this instant. Okay, uh, here's a pocket watch. Um, just, no, oopsie. Uh, one. Cool. There you go. Sorry for the wait. I get the watch. Oh, my heart is hot. I'm like, I'm like, I'm very important dude. Are you supposed to be the white rabbit? You're- Hi there! <laughs> Bed sheet ghost. Give me five candles and six apples. Got it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And candles. Where are candles? Where, where are candles? Oh, he said candies, probably. I'm assuming he said candies. Here you go! Awesome sauce! Hello, you all. May I please have a cheese set for 13 guests and seven cakes to go with that? No other problem. Cheese set for 13. And then cake for seven. Here you go. Quite the party you have. Marvelous, thanks to you, ma'am. The tea party can begin with a hitch. Not the guy I expect to have a tea party. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, what do you have here? We have a new sales lady. Now, could you be a peach and give me 100 white roses and 26 and of playing cards? Yeah, I got it. Here's some white roses. Uh, 100. And, oh shit, I forgot the number. Did you say 26? I think you said 26. Uh, 26. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah, nice. I'll be mad, chow. Whoa. Whoa, you look cool. <coughs> 50 hot chocolates and 602 white spotted red mushrooms. Alright. Here's a, here's a mushroom. Uh, six hundred and two. And then your chocolates, I got it right here, buddy. Five. Here's your fifty shits. <laughs> Bye. Oh, hello there. I, the most beautiful queen of swine, desire 7,280 red luscious roses. 7,280. 
Ah, phone call. Eh, who could be calling at this time? Hello? Oh, my dearest Marsha, I haven't heard from you in ages. Are you doing all right? Sheesh, Nibbles. You're loud like a broken record. Are you, are you there? What are you doing? Chop, chop. My demands are to be fulfilled. Or else it's off with your head. I'm with your head. Yeah, I hear that. I'm a tad busy at the moment. Ta-ta. My dear Marsha, Marsha, can't you at least tell me what's going on? Marsha! Man, can't you see I'm swamped? Alright. Um. Uh. Seven. Eighty. Damn it. Must be 1720. Uh. I don't have the kind of memory for your shit. Alright. Um. One. Seven. Two. No, no, no. Maybe it was 82. Damn it! I gotta travel. I don't wanna go anywhere. One. Seven. Twenty-eight? I can't imagine it's twenty-eight. Okay, well. Seventeen. I could swear it's seventeen eighty. Ah, uh, 7280! Why do I think 17? Oops. 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 Uh, 7280. I had the numbers there, kinda. Just, I was missing a line. Uh, damn it. Damn it. White Castle! Got it. Lady, you threw off my groove. I was doing so well. Don't be sorry for the interruption earlier. Here's your reward of 7280 red roses in White Castle, hi. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy giving this castle a regal romp and smash it flat, just like when I was a piglet. Okay, that was really weird. Hello, you look just like me, except in a helmet. I'm like one baby and one apple. Okay. Um, here's the apple. It's too high for me. Okay. Well, there's a little baby. Come here, big sister Marsha. Oh, so loud. Huh! Somehow the baby's, the lovely baby's cries may have made the apple fall off the tree. <laughs> and then the apple hit the lovely baby straight in his little noggin and quieted him down for good. Oh no! Oh my god, are you okay, baby? Uh, this isn't a real baby. It's just a toy designed to look like one. Dang, you sure fooled me. Jesus. Here's your broken shit. Oh, I didn't expect this baby to be so amazingly quiet, you know? <laughs> oh well. That's not good. Hello, you. I'm dry. Ooh. Give me a bottle to fill with yours. Alright, um, well, here's a bottle. And since this thing is an eye, uh, fill it with river water. It's an eye, worse. Let's fill this baby up with the river. It's coming out of the eye anyway, so close enough. Just a little more, and there. I'll fill it up. Whoa, whoa. Mm. <laughs> Obtained a bottle filled with tears. Finally got the job done. Well, what do you know? Guess I did fill it with my own tears after all. Well, back to music. Here you go, bottle with tears. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You got that? Hello! Hiya! Oh, looky loo, my froggy poo. Oh, <laughs> looky loo, my froggy poo. What do you think? What should we get, dear? I wonder. Rabbit? Ribbit? Ra oh, he's a frog. That's right, okay. How about 43 blue striped mushrooms, my vermi squirmy? Ah, how manly of you. That's a little old me. I would like some golden yellow mushrooms. Make four of them, please. Alright. I get your, uh, did you say 42? I think it's 42. That's 20. Uh, 42. Damn it. Fuck. It's 40 something, right? Uh, 40. 30? Okay, cool. Um. You look a little angry. Oh. Hit it. Ow! It bit me. Dad, I'm gonna take these swords. Oh shit. I can't. Can I slice it? Kill it! <laughs> slice the dice! Oh look, there's four of them conveniently. Got one. Uh, uh, two. Uh, three? Hey, who wants a teddy bear? A soft and fluffy teddy bear. I want a teddy bear. Here you go! I got your shits! Ah, uh, ribbit. I got a croak. My dragon's darling will foot the bill. What the hell, dear? Now you hold on a moment! Ah, oh, shit. Uh, gloves. 25,007... I mean, 257,318 of them. Oh, the flamingos. No. White gloves. 257,318. And then 940,631. Oh, god. I'm gonna be talking to you a lot. Those are high numbers. Uh, fuck. Fuck. Um, two, five, seven. God, I'm amazing at starting the wrong way. There you go. And then, um, nine, forty, three. I already fucked up. What was that last number? Nine, forty, six, three, one. Damn it. Nine, four, zero, six, three, one. Here's your chiskies. Duh. You are saver. I give a ring off. Thank you very much for your patronage. I did it. I got all the months. Whew. Is it time to close up shop yet? Ah, oh, I'm ranking in the dough. Made some big profit by selling those items in bulk. With this much, I could... I have the power to... Uh, I have the power to have my way with my beloved darling. Oh. I can do anything I want with him. Oh yeah, that's right. You have a beloved darling. Who is never explained. Is he real? I don't know. And then I'll force him to dress up in all sorts of things for my own pleasure. 
Marshy, <laughs> Marshy, you're, Marshy, you're kind of weird. Bad Marshy, gotta remember this isn't your money. This money belongs to Alice in her shop. Therefore, I gotta put the whole big old wad of cash right in the register. I'm so tempted to shove this into my pocket. Well, steal the money, casually put it in your pocket, or five finger discount that loot. Well, I don't have an option to not do it? Man, forced story progression. I bet Alice won't mind if I help myself just a bit. From this point on, she was known as Master Thief Marshmallow San Diego. Why San Diego? Undoubtedly the greatest thief of all time. Oh. Oh. Wait, stop right there! Don't you move a muscle! What? Ah, who's that? I'm right over here. <gasps> the bear! Hello, bear! Ah, teddy bear. Well, it is the only thing left in the shop that hasn't been sold. Oh! I am Alice. I'm the resident of this room and the owner of Alice's shop. Ah, no, no, wait, you aren't supposed to be out on an errand or something. Weren't you supposed to be out on an errand or something? As are the words, apparently not, as I am here in my room with the... Seriously? Could have sworn that Jin has asked to watch over this place. Well, he was lying. That darned cat always playing tricks on people. He even put a curse on me, forcing me to take form of that stuffed bear. He actually did that to you? I couldn't move an inch in that pile of fluff. So I was in a heap of trouble when customers started coming in. Ah, and here I was thinking I was the only victim of Jin's game. Once you had sold all the commodities in my shop, the curse lifted. Thanks to you, I was able to return to my former self. I'm glad I was able to help you out. However... <laughs> I think it's time I re re return this money. <laughs> Sound good? I was just daydreaming out loud. Honest to God, I beg your forgiveness. Oh, my stars. Take it easy. Lift up your head, dearie. Go ahead and keep the money. It's my gift for you for working so hard. What? Are you serious? Uh, but this is just way too much money for me. Take it. Money has no meaning for me now. Oh, really? My health is failing, and I feel I'm no longer... I'm not long for this world. That can't be. What will become of your shop? I'm afraid it will have to be closed down. So I take solace in fact that everything's sold out. Listen, there's a hefty price to pay for making a deal with those from the world of the demon. They will cut away at your life. Please convey this warning to do that farewell... Oh, convey the warning to the farewell boy. Got it. You mean Mr. Manager? Okay. I'll let him know. Meanwhile, in the world of the demons... Oh. I have to confirm this right away. Am I her? I'm leaving, bye. Damn it. I'm gonna go play with the snowmans. Damn it. Is that is that you, Jen? I wonder uh, what I will get for supper. I don't fucking know. I want that flower, though. Damn it. Alright. What's up, Luna and the other cat from Sailor Moon? Milord White Peach. Milord Blackberry. Sorry, I just got an Amber Alert on my phone. What is it? You're making quite a ruckus. What's wrong, Undertaker? What are you doing back here? You still haven't managed to bury the human world in darkness? Uh, I'm deeply sorry, but... W was that prophecy really true? Are you trying to say that my deviations weren't... My div <laughs> deviations? My divinations? Devin divinations? I don't know that word. I mean, it's like divine, because you're a cat, and uh, you're a divine cat. No, oh, whatever. I would never. That would be absurd, my lord. Uh, it's just that something unexpected came up. Huh, ignorant fool. A shame you seem to be only one in the dark. Yeah, the human man farewell, whom you call your big brother, is not the other half. But in actuality, the holy girl is... Holy girl? You mean that wretched marshmallow holly? What did I tell you? My divinations are never wrong. I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong and some of you are getting screamy. In the old building above ground, you are destined to meet your other half. That's precisely what I said, and so it has come to pass. This holy girl, she's the light from which you are cast. Oh shadow, 
<laughs> the other half for your own reflection. She's your twin. You jumped to the wrong conclusion. You decided on your own that the human boy was the one prophesized. I can't be. No way. You mean to tell me that girl? She's my... You got it. Now, good. Get your butt back there and do the thing that you do. I can kill her returning back to claim that girl's soul. When you were born, God was afraid of you and divided your soul into two separate fragments. As you stand now, you are only half of your true power. He is correct, you know. You're not... You are not at your full potential. Go forth and take back... Am I getting this? No, that's, that's Lord. They're both, they're both dudes, actually. Go forth and take back his soul and store yourself to full glory. Once you do that, once that's accomplished, you'll have the full power you need to truly bury the human world in darkness. Without fail, my lords. Oh, finally, the third floor. And no Mr. Manager in sight. I'm quite surprised. I wonder where he went off to. Could it be? Did he run away under the covers of night? Oh. Oh well. Here we go, final room. Knock, knock, knock. Hoot! It's time. It's time for the climantic battle with the final boss. Oh, because it's the final room. This thing might be close to ending. That's a chicken. As a chicken. Also, that's a really cool carpet. I've never seen that done in an RPG Maker game. <laughs> so, chicken. Um. You must be. Ah. Uh, oh, no more actions. You must be quite the courageous ex artist soul to have made it this far. Uh, cackadoodle doo. Dee doodle. Dee doodle. Dee doodle. Dee doo doo doo. You must want this. You, you must want to see more ends naturel. I really don't think you want to. A chicken. Why is a chicken here of all places? This is my room. You got a problem with that. So this gorgeous penthouse is really a hen house. You must take me for some common chicken father. I am the red crown. The uh, uh, le roi des bleus. The king of pottery. To simply zing's father. I am the planet's under. I am the god. God? Like god god? This the order of this cosmos materialized more in its own <laughs> The god of this world is a chicken. That's just stupid. Like, who the heck would do that? Ow! Gah! Windre! As punishment for not believing in your god, I will force you in the nudity. Hello! You said yourself you had no interest in nudity. Let <laughs> nudity, let nudity! Quit clucking, I'm just here to clean the darn place. I. Oh, I'm an angel. Wow, wow, I'm actually flying. Behind you is the planet blue. I let to that. Or what you call the Earth. This dull gray sphere is the Earth. Cut. I gave birth to the planet at first, and it was all magnificent. Magnificent. Me magnifica. Oh, that is the darkness. It's the start of nature. Is it us? The man of made it do the digging the put the. I'm just gonna start saying syllables. Bear with me. They need it to clean up. You want me to clean up the entire world? Don't you think that's a bit of a tall order? Then show me your panties. Then show me your panties. Blah 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 blah. Mademoiselle Marshmallow, this is what you were born to do. I was born to show you my panties. Grand you were born to repurify the planet, to revive the planet blue. The form of an anger. That is your true form. However, when you were born, let the diablo fear your great power. It split your soul. It split your soul in two. In two. They took that out for your soul. They allowed it to spawn into the uh, monde de diablos. Where is this corrupt in the force of evil? <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I, I, I don't know how else to read this, sorry. That dark fragment of you now suddenly stands in your way to attempt to drag you down to the Monde de Diablis. <laughs> However, you do not let yourself be polluted by their attempts. Spread your angry wings and sweep away the interrupts of darkness. 
<laughs> Go forth, courageous soul. Fight on until the terrace is complete. Leclaim. Bite Advant Wins the big prize. Got the earth broke. Maybe I overdid it a bit. Oh well. I have an extra one lying around here. Wait, you had a spare all this time? Exactamenta. Okay, well. There's <laughs> invigorating cutscene with God. So where are we at? What are we doing? Hey, we're on the roof. Ah, found you at last. Uh, Mr. Manager? You okay, buddy? Huh. Mission complete. Your apartment complex is now clean and spotless. <laughs> is that so? Then you have my thanks. So, what do you really think? Come on, give it to me straight. In that case, I'd say you did a bang-up job. <laughs> I can't believe you made it up this far, all the way up to the rooftop. You've come to stop me, haven't you? Stop you? The only time you'd see someone in this situation is when they're about to die. What? When they're about to die? Exactly. Remember when you first caught sight of me in this exact same position at the time you arrived here? I was preparing to jump off the roof in order to reach the other world. Ah, you guy gotta stop and really think this through. Mr. Manager, you're far too young to commit suicide. Contemplate suicide. Close enough. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> ring. Oh, for crying out loud. This is really not the time. Answer it. It might be the ever so important darling you keep mentioning on your other end. On the other end. Come, Beam. My darling can't exactly use the phone, but... Yes, who is this? Oh, my dear Marzi! Uh. <laughs> Isn't that kind of rude to just hang up on him like that? Tell sweat it. Is this a stupid windbag of a president? Stupid windbag? You mean you just hung up on your boss? The president of the little cleaning company? Yeah, that guy. He's also a perverted old fart who uses things. who has a thing for younger girls. Not only that, he abuses his authority to bug me like I'm some troubled youth who needs guidance. Oh, I do pity you. Don't give me that crap, it's true! I swear my job half of the time is keeping him company. Uh, excuse my snide remarks. Anyway, I guess I'll head on back. You know, it's kind of strange. When I first heard about your boss, I pictured him as a highly skilled professional hitman. Got you! Uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe he was a long time ago. But even so, it's just a baseline rumor. The old cad cod... Codger, Codger, couldn't kill a fly if his life depended on it. It sounds exactly like the kind of thing he'd brag about to make himself look cooler. <laughs> I can't wait to just go on the date with my dear Marjorie. Really? Well, when I called up your boss, I was trying to hire him to put a hit on myself. What? Seriously? Seriously. What the heck? I can't believe you would be rushing your own death like that. You don't understand. I hired him to kill me because I killed the ones that I loved. I was just bored. Bored? That dreadful day, here I was trying to stave off portal. Next thing I knew, I was in a bed in my bedroom. Same room you know as the wizard's room. But I wasn't in a natural born- I'm not- I wasn't a natural born magician. No, I was merely a chap who dressed as one. Still, I was curious and I wanted to experience the thrill that came with spellcasting. Thus, the sole reason I tried summoning her. <sighs> summoning her also caused a massive earthquake. The same one that buried my parents underneath. It really my fault. My boredom was responsible for the death of my parents. It's only suiting that I die too. I can't believe you're getting all choked up over that. Hey, what a bitch. For a human, you're more foolish than I thought. Undertaker. Are you really so arrogant to think that your feeble attempt to summon me worked? It was pure coincidence that I happened to appear at the same time. So, brother, do you still want to die? You want to die? How about right now? You poor lonely little boy. Do you want me to take you back home to mommy and daddy? 
Don't listen to her! Ah, uh, yes, how silly of me. My precious big sister asked me to stop. Who am I to question her? Big sister! Yep, it's oh so true, and you know it. You and I... You are me, and I am you. We are two halves of the same soul. So it's only suitable to call ourselves sisters. I made the mistake of thinking this boy was a lost fragment of my soul. No kidding. Anyone could have told you that. We look absolutely nothing alike. Silence! You're completely useless to me! My business lies with her. And what business is that? <laughs> I'm not asking for much, big sister. All I want is for you to hand over your soul. Wouldn't it be wonderful to join together as one with your little sister? Who together will become a beautiful force to be reckoned with? Not pass! What did you say? Yeah, I don't deny that the two of us become one would be kind of hot. But I know you're rotten through and through. An ugly face like yours masks even an uglier heart. Me? Ugly? This pathetic human world is totally backwards. You're above ground. You above ground dwellers view virtuous deeds as those worthy of hit. You above ground dwellers view virtuous deeds as those worthy of heralding beauty. I don't. That seems confusing. However, we in the world of demons view corruption as that beholden of true beauty. Each time, for each, with each crime I commit, my allure grows stronger and stronger. Ultimate beauty will be achieved by massacring the human race. For that, I need your strength, my dear sister. I don't think so. Ah, your words wound me, big sis. You know what? I've got an even better idea. How about I throw your boyfriend off this building? So, you're saying since your plans failed, Marshy isn't listening? That's your last resort? Bingo! Indeed a foolish suggestion. What do you think I came up here to do in the first place? Mr. Manager, watch out! Huh? I'm not falling to my death? Mom. Dad. Ugh! What in the... How did they get this much power? <clears throat> Impossible. When did my big sister get to be so powerful? I'm an angel. God Almighty, Divine Buddha, Great Ancestors, and of course, my prized darling. Lend me your strength. <clears throat> I can't be... No! Big sister! Ah! Mom, Dad. Now you're in a school uniform. So you weren't kidding me when you told me you're in high school. Regardless, thank you so much for your efforts today. What's the matter? You seem awfully sad. We're like worried. Worried? About what? I'm worried about you. Especially after what my sister tried to do to you. <laughs> I'm going to be fine. You can stop worrying now. I finally was able to be granted forgiveness for what I have done for my parents. However... Yeah? Things are going to be awfully lonely after you leave. If you're itching to do maid work, be sure to come back, alright? Not a chance! Why not? Because I already saw your place, what your place looks like. Now it's your turn to see mine. Come on, let's go. Uh, what? Wait, wait, right now? Do, 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 do. No, then, mister, my darling is waiting for us on the other side. Uh, your darling is joining us too. So it'll be the three of us hanging out? This is the darling you keep talking about? Yep. This stud muffin would be him. Sorry for making you wait out here all alone, darling. Marshy miss you so much. Come on, let's get in. And don't forget to kick the dirt off your shoes first. Oops, let me do that right now. Is it a car? <laughs> it sounds like a car. Oh, it's a car. Look at that truck. Or convertible, whatever you want to call that. Man, it feels great. Oh god, oh god, darling, you're so amazing. You're so good at this. 
don't you think we're going just a little fast? I'm about to have a heart attack here. <laughs> You're able to live in a spooky apartment filled with ghosts, but you can't take a ride on the wild side? Driving with you is a nightmare. Do you really have a license to drive this thing? Of course I do. Do you want me to show it to you? Ah, hands on the wheels, hands on the wheels! <laughs> Chill out, I've never had an accident or a citation. There's no way I'd ever let my darling get so much as a scratch on him. Plus, he's not even paid off yet. Earlier, when you first mentioned you didn't... Earlier, when I first mentioned, didn't you mention that you lost your parents as well? Ah, uh, oh, you remembered. Yeah, I still don't know anything about them since I was separated at birth. Do you know why? Because Marcia here is actually an angel. Or at least that's what God told me. But listen to me go, I probably sound really crazy to you. I don't blame you if you think I'm making this stuff up. No, I believe you. There was a saying in my family, God dwells on the third floor of Fairwall Heights. It's just something passed down, I never actually confirmed it for myself. That's probably for the best. Why do you say that? All I'm saying is that no one should rush to shatter their dreams. Some mysteries are best left unsolved. Huh. I've been meaning to ask you, do you live alone? No, nope, I live together with my darling. Uh, no, I meant aside from him. There was also those people who raised me. Like your foster parents? Well, you'll see. They put a lot of effort into raising me, so for that I'm thankful. But they were so overprotective, it nearly drove me nuts! <laughs> so they're even harder to deal with than you are. Yeah. They also warned me about my darling saying he's too dangerous and that I should give up on him. No one comes between me and my darling. And why is this world so cruel? Why does society frown upon a woman marrying an automobile? Uh, uh that's... yeah. Since no one would accept our love, we might as well commit lover's suicide. At least let me get out of your car first. This is silly. Oh. I thought, I thought it was about to crash. We're here. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm still seeing my life flash before my eyes. That doesn't sound too bad. My place is just up the stairs. Go ahead, I'll catch up. My dear Margie! <laughs> Isn't that the old man over- wait, isn't that old man over there your foster father? Why is he running towards us? Marjorie, my dear Marjorie! Do you have any idea what time it is? It's midnight, stop shouting! Who is that boy next to you? Holy shit, is, she, is he shooting? Is he carrying a firearm? Looks like things are going to be really interesting from here on out. Jesus, fucking nibble it. Ke oh, well, that's the end? Oh shit! What a way to wrap up! Maybe Nibbit was a trained assassin. And he was all like, I'm gonna kill a bitch. Cool. Home at last. Phew, Nibbles finally settled down after I told him that Farewell Heights was some girl I befriended. Not Heights, just Farewell. Now he's out there rambling on about, ooh, my sweet farewell is so cute. I guess all's well that ends well with the boss. Anyway, great job beating the- This game. Oh, sorry. This here's my room. I guess you could call this the bonus room. As your reward, you can enjoy your time and relax here. Oh, but please be sure to make, you, uh, make, make a save right now. There's a lot of nasty game overs hidden in this room. Oh, that's not nice. Well, what do you think, farewell? I'll get my as well save. What do you think, Farewell? Do you want to explore the room or should we, uh, should we leave that for other people? You know, if you want to explore this room, because it looks pretty interesting, I'm sure there's stuff that might do stuff. Maybe you should play it yourself and beat it, and then you could, uh, you could, you could explore the room. I'm getting bored standing around. How about mixing things up with the game? Oh shit, oh shit, Farewell! Oh shit! Aren't we playing the game right now? You shouldn't be talking about the you-know-what. Someone might over here. Uh, oh, I, I meant to say, how about we do a fashion show? Dress in whatever outfit you please, and if I like it enough, I'll do my best to match. Oh. Wait, so... Change my clothes here. Maid. Magical girl, Alice, cowgirl. So, if I wear this and go over to you, are you gonna change to a cowgirl outfit? Come back, dress something. Okay, <laughs> apparently you don't like the cowgirl outfit. So, what, a maid? 
I think I already saw you in a maid, though. Oh, well. <sighs> it's cute. That's cute. It's cute, uh... Anyway, that was a game called Maids of Farewell Heights. It's, uh, pretty cute, pretty adorable, pretty fun, pretty sweet. It took me three months to finish it. But you guys saw it in a matter of a week. So, win, lose, whatever. I'm gonna go now. I gotta go do laundry. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, uh... Bye. <laughs>